Okay, we need to collect all these gems. First, let's look for a repeating pattern so that we can define a function and then call it. Oh, I see a couple of repeating patterns here. One repeating pattern can be move forward and collect gem. So we can move forward and collect the gem for the first two gems. Turn right, then we can do it for all the gems. That's one way we could do it. That's pretty good, but let's challenge ourselves and make a big repeating pattern and use that to finish this puzzle. Each row has three gems and they're in three tiles, one next to each other. This would make a perfect repeating pattern. We'll have to collect gem, move forward, collect gem, move forward, and collect gem just one more time, and we have finished all the gems in that row. How do we define a function? We need to write func, then we need to write the name of a function, and this time let's name it solve row. So just so, just write solve, just write solve there, and then, and then write an uppercase R, and then write O, W, and we have solve row. Then we have the brackets and the parentheses, and inside the parentheses, we need to put all the commands that we're going to group into that function. Let's write, collect gem, move forward, collect gem, move forward, collect gem. Remember, if we run our program now, it'll do nothing because we've only defined the function and we've not called it. So, as to tap into enter code, let's write solve row. Let's run our code and fingers crossed that it works. Yes, she's done it. She actually did it. Now let's move her to the start of the next row so that she can call solve row. So it'll take a lot and a lot of time if we ask her to go back and go here and then go there. So all we're gonna do is she's facing this way, right? So she just has to turn right, move forward and turn right and then she'll be at the starting place but she'll just be, her back will be facing us. So let's do that. So. First of all, we have to do turn right. And then we have to do move forward. And then we have to do turn right. Yes! Now, we have to call our function, solve row, and let's run our code. Yes, she did it! We are getting super good at this. Let's just do the last row by going to the start of the last row and calling and calling solve row. So let's do turn left. And then she has to move forward. And then she has to turn left one more time. And then she has to do solve row. Let's run my code. Great work, everybody. I am so happy that you are doing so well. In the next episode, we're gonna be learning about having to put one function into another function. I just can't wait. If you wanna know when my next video is, it's easy, just subscribe. And as always, I am so happy that you're coding with me. Bye for now.